of our lives successfully as believers. <coughs> we see the charge to the soldier of Christ, and the charge is in uh, chapter 4, verses, verse 1, I charge thee therefore before God, um, verse 2, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. See the emphasis on true doctrine here again versus false doctrine. True doctrine is based on the word of God. It is the word of God. Verse 3, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Uh, quitters, people who quit on the true doctrine, they, they like false doctrine. The false teachers like these quitters, and the quitters like the false teachers. They don't want to endure sound doctrine anymore, so they heap up themselves these evil teachers. And the command is in verse 5, To watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of the evangelist, and make full proof of thy ministry. Suffering's part of the ministry, soul winning's part of the ministry, and uh, we need to continue in these things. We see about the Apostle Paul and how he fulfilled his charge. Verse 7, verse 6, For I, now I am ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. The Apostle Paul is excited. He's about to go, and uh, there's a reward in heaven waiting for him. But it says, And uh, not for me only, but to all them that love his appearing. Those of us who live our lives in light of Christ's soon coming return uh, will receive rich reward for it. Those of us who... Uh, do whatever we want. We don't fight the Christian fight. We don't war. Good warfare. Uh, we'll be ashamed at the coming of Christ. Well, we see uh, some final instructions. And uh, in verse 10, Only Luke is with me. I'm sorry. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica. Chris gains to Galatia. I think Paul sent him there. Titus unto Dalmatia. That's modern day Yugoslavia. And only Luke is with him. Demas, when people read the Bible here, will always be known as a quitter. And uh, that's a bad spot to be in. Don't live this life and, uh, and uh, live, the rest, live your life as a quitter, as someone who quit when things got hard. Don't want to be in heaven being known as the person who quit in this life. It'd be way better to be Luke in heaven than Demas. Demas did pretty good for a while. You find him mentioned quite positively in two other epistles. But by this point, he quits stuff was too hard. Only Luke is now with him. Luke uh, fought it out through the thick and through the thin with Paul, and here he is still faithfully serving. And uh, we find another man mentioned, Mark, in verse 11, take Mark with thee. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Mark was a quitter, but Mark got right. The encouragement is if you're Considering quitting in your heart, if you're weakening in your heart, or, or if you've already quit in your heart, maybe not in body yet, but uh, get back to Christ. Don't quit, but if you have quit, pick the sword back up and keep fighting. Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Um, we find, uh, as the book closes, the exhortation to come soon is repeated twice, and the book ends with the, with the encouragement, The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. And uh, it's the last epistle written by the Apostle Paul. We see two more writ which were written by him earlier. We'll study in the next two weeks. Our memory verse today is 2 Timothy chapter three, ver chapter 2, verse 3. It's a very quick verse. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Let's all read it in unison. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Who's ready to say it? Pastor Fred. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Excellent. Charity. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Excellent. Nick. Thou therefore endure Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Excellent. Let's see. Charlie. Timothy 2 3. Now therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Mr. Alex. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Tony. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Good. 
against AI. David! 2 Timothy 2.3 Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Good. Kip! Thou, there, there, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Yes. Second good. Timothy 2.3 Good. Sandy! 2 Timothy 2.3 Now therefore... Endure hardness as a soldier of Jesus Christ. Good. Chuck. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.3. Help. Therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Excellent. Let's see. Jonathan, can you say it? What? A verse. <coughs> what, was all this? what we've been saying. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. You say that one? Say it with me. Thou therefore, Thou therefore endure hardness. And the hardness. As a good soldier, soldier. Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. Now put it all together and say it. <laughs> all right. Well, good try, good cheat. try. Yeah. Go ahead and cheat. Look at the pit. Well, cheat. you'll have a hard time finding it. Ken. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So, Jonathan. Second Timothy 2.3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Excellent. Earl. Therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Excellent. And uh, let's see. Anybody else? Stacy. Second Timothy 2.3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Excellent. I think everybody said it. David. David. Where's David? Oh, yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he got it like in the beginning. That's everybody. Well, uh, let's pray and be dismissed. Dear God, help us not to quit. Please encourage us and help us to live for you and uh, not to let our eyes get off you for anything. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.